guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 6, Episode 11 of The Impossible Dream with Violet Town. And today we have a doubleheader versus Nemesis Club in the league, the New Saints, for the festive fixtures. But before we get to that, we have the Europa League first knockout round draw. Um, so let's go and have a look and see who we're going to get in this. Now behind my considerably large head with this hat on today, we have Ajax, ourselves, Dundalk, Lazio, Marseille, Reim, or Rem, whoever you say that, from the French team, Sevilla, Trabs and Spore, and then down the other side here we have AS Monaco, Club Bruges, Inter Milan, Lokomotiv Moscow, RB Leipzig, Braga, Shakhtar, and West Ham. Now there's obviously some teams in there we'd rather get, and there's some teams in there we'd rather avoid. Uh, Dundalk, uh, for one, is a club that I would uh, take right now if we were to be so lucky. Let's have a look here and see who we get, though. Um... I mean, I really don't want RB Leipzig. They tend to be a very, very good team. We've seen what a German team can do to us last episode. Marseille's first team out. They get Inter. Tell you what, that's a tie, isn't it? Ream. Well, do we take Ram or Ream, whoever you say that? They get RB Leipzig. Another team that we'd like to avoid. Traps and Spore. We've beaten them before, I think, haven't we? They get Sevilla. Braga. Could be worse if we get Braga. They get Moscow. Dundalk's still there. Dundalk. Come on, Dundalk. Come on, Dundalk. No, they get Lazio. Shakhtar, we of course have taken on Shakhtar in the Champions League last season, got a result against them. West Ham get Ajax, so we are playing AS Monaco. I'm going to go out of limb and say that's going to be extremely tough. Um, yeah, that could have gone better for us, I think. I have a quick look at their squad. We don't have to worry about this until after the January transfer window, so we've got a little bit of time to strengthen. But there's an argument to say no matter how hard we try, we're not going to strengthen enough. They have Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland will be facing our poor, poor Vala defense. Um, so I think having seen that, we can say that our European adventure just might be about to come to an end. Now, before we get to today's games, we have uh, two games to catch you up on since last episode. The first one being Cardiff Met Uni in the Welsh Premier League. We fell behind, caught out by a flick on. But Ryan Burke quickly had us level. All marks miscued how to put us in front when it was deflected in off a defender. And Dixon played in Allmark just after half time for our fourth. Callum Connolly punished a poor free kick with a memorable strike. And Allmark stole a goal off Gosney for his second. Before he got on the end of a Ryan Burke cross to complete his hat trick. So there we go, a little bit of a slow start this one, but once we were behind, we really, really did wake up. A nice free kick from Burke, uh, then the own goal, a hat-trick from Damien Ormark, uh, and Callum Connolly is, I tell you what, he's looking a real player for us. He got a goal in this one as well. Uh, so that was job done, another smashing of Cardiff Met Uni this season. Next up, we played Port Talbot Town again in the Premier League. We took the lead thanks to Ewan Dixon. And we doubled our advantage when Ryan Burke crossed for Callum Connolly's towering header. Connolly added a third before the break, this time on the end of a Curtis Owen cross. And he turned provider just after half time, crossing for Adam Maurice. And Dixon rounded off the scoring with his second. So there we go, we were just too good for them as well. Uh, Dixon with a double, Connolly with two more goals, and Adam Maurice with the goal as well. This was 50 games now unbeaten in a row consecutively in the Welsh Premier League. So that's a wonderful achievement. We have reached our 50, so if you raise your back to the crowd. Um, but yeah, you can see there, we absolutely smashed them. We were just too good for them. Now, today, as I said, we do have the doubleheader coming up against the New Saints. And if we look at... Uh, the, the, the league table here, we are nine points ahead of them. Yeah, nine points ahead of them. So if we were to even just break even today, you've got to say, we, we, you know, if we're not already favourites, then we definitely are. Our goal difference is almost twice theirs. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, and, of course, this is just, yeah, that's nightmare stuff, isn't it? Uh, all right, let's go and have a look at what we're up against here. The first of the two games today is at our place. Uh, we are the favourites for this one. Now, let's forget, Scott Rusko has returned. Uh, to the new Saints. So it would be nice to give him a little bit of a spanking on his return to the job, wouldn't it? Uh, a balanced standard playing style, more urgent uh, pressing, and what uh, formation are they playing? The Rusko bus is going to be parked. Um, you can see that they do tend to uh, play relatively evenly across the field. They beat Carnata Fawn. What was that? Carnata Fawn <laughs> last time out, 4 0. We can see there their, uh, their passing, uh, heat, well, sorry, their heat map their passing network, and their key passes as well. Let's have a look at the team that we're sending out for the first game here, and it is Rhea, Rima Miles in goal. It's Granger, Reese Williams, Gosney, and Brent Thwaite as a back four. It's York and McLean in midfield. It's Wright. It's Dixon and Middleton in behind Simic. Let's go. 
Okay, everybody is lining up as expected. Uh, let's hope we can, uh, you know, they're all bloated with their Christmas turkeys, and we can really make them look like Christmas turkeys here, actually. Gomez says, tell to pick up where they left off. I'm going to say, um, we've been on a good run lately. Go, don't impress me. I think I like that. Some calm, we have faith. And we know that, as I said, they've been a bogey team for us. So it's going to be not the, well, it's not that it would be easy, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how we react this season with what is essentially our European team as well, uh, how they go against the new Saints. Um, here we go. Early work to do here, defending a corner. Ball comes in. Heather away, is it? Yes, it is. Gosney's there. Gosney will we'll win everything in the air, won't he? Can we win the ball back? We forced them all the way back to the halfway line. Here they come forward again. Taylor on the ball, infield there to Yuli. Yuli's a player we ha I have considered signing, but uh, obviously haven't done. Ball forward there from Simic. Simic gets onto it. Can he score himself a goal? Simic, no. Lashes his foot at it, and it goes past the post. Let's well wait till after this highlight's done now. Another highlight. I think we've come straight back there, actually, from the goal kick. Uh, we don't win the head up. We don't win the knockdown either. And they get down the outside. I was a little bit too easily there, perhaps. Can we get a foot in there? We Oh, it's a bit of a lungy tackle. He's going to give a penalty, is he? Well, I'm going to say harsh. Um, I mean, particularly if it, if it was a two-footed lunge, then it should be a red card. I think just as a penalty, that's a little bit harsh. And we do, once again, find ourselves behind here to the New Saints. Let's give it a show some passion. And let's hope that that wakes us up a little bit. We've seen before this season in the league, we have fallen behind. I mean, maybe not games that, we've, that I've shown on the channel, but we have fallen behind before and responded well. Um, we need that response now. So it hasn't been a great start for us, if we're honest. And I don't know, we have seem to have just this blind spot, don't we, against the New Saints. I don't really understand why it is. We're the biggest reputation club now. Uh, we clearly have better players. But for whatever reason, when we come up against the New Saints, we just seem to have this mental block. There's a the knockdown there, Simic to York. Across there to find Granger. Granger, can he get across in? He finds Simic. He's up there alone. There's a man coming in at the back post. Simic, he looks for him. Right, with the header. Right, oh, he snuck it under the goalkeeper. And Declan Wright, he's quite the beast in the air, isn't he, old Declan Wright? Eight goal of the season for him. We have responded. Uh, maybe not as quickly as we would have liked, but we have responded. And Dojo Simic it is with the assist. A decent cross. And uh, like I say, Declan Wright giving him something to attack. And he's deadly. Goalkeeper maybe should have done a little bit better there. But we don't care about that. And we're back to 1-1. And let's see if we can go on with this now a little bit. Gosney's looking nervous. No need to look nervous, mate. You're the best player on the field, arguably. Uh, here we go with the corner. Ball in. Back post. Heather away. Reese Williams will try to retrieve it. What's he got here for us? Williams. Crossfield ball. It's there for Glenn Middleton. Middleton on his left peg. Off the crossbar. Not the crossbar. Sorry, the post. And that goes out for another corner. The goal seems to have woken us up. Middleton with a decent ball in, but it's heathered away. And are we going to find ourselves on the back of a counter-attack here again? Wright gets back, and I'll say that's a, probably a good foul to make. Um, I'll tell you, our next shot might need to just be concentrate here, I think. We've got a couple of looking nervous-looking uh, nervous looking players, I should say, in our defense, which isn't great. Can we win the ball back there? No, not right now. Molloy, cross-field ball. Lucas has it. I keep pinging it around. I wonder if we need to close up the lines a little bit and make it a little bit more difficult for them here. Oh, and Malloy unleashes. Just one that maybe we take a little bit of... Not, not try to close them down quite so much, but just, just make it difficult for them to play. That might be something that we see a little benefit from. Uh, but we've been second best in this half, and we shouldn't be saying that in the Welsh League anymore. Uh, but 1-1 one, one that is at the tie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get aggressive. Boys, that's not good enough. Um... Gosney on a booking, looking nervous. We do have KDH on the bench. Um, I'm wondering if maybe it, we we don't want a booking on the field. It's the only booking in the team, so well, let's just hope that he uh, he's sensible about it. Still looking nervous, and the shouts aren't really helping him. Here we go with a throw. Brent Thwaite there for McLean. McLean keeps possession across for Sam York, who goes past his man. Right there, he's got men queuing up in the middle. He goes back post Middleton, heathered away, though Dixon has it back for McLean. Out there for Wright! Declan Wright has himself a double. The on-loan Leeds United winger. It's his ninth of the season, and we've taken the lead. 52nd minute, only took a few minutes in the second half, and we've gone and got ourselves back in front. Well, not back in front, but in front. And that was a nicely worked goal, wasn't it? Just peppered around the penalty area. Nice ball from McLean to pick out right in space there and made no mistake with the finish and Declan Wright what a player he has been for us um it's got some big goals in Europe as well if I remember correctly has Declan uh all right so this is looking okay do we want to make any changes 
I mean, I'm still, what am I saying push forward for? I'm still looking at the bookings there, particularly Gosney, who's looking nervous um, and wondering if we need to make change there. The highlight's begun, so let's wait and see what happens from this. O'Brien knocks it forward. Wright's there, picks it up. He's on a hat trick now, of course, as well. Goes back to Branthwaite for Gosney. Gosney finds Wright. Back to McLean. McLean ball over the top. Dixon's in. Ewan Dixon! Muffsy shot over the crossbar. It was easier to score, surely. All right, let's get KDH on for Gosney, who's... No, not for you. For Gosney, who's on a booking and not playing particularly well in any case. Sam York, uh, we could bring Williams on. Maybe that makes sense. Get the bookings off the field. Um, and we might leave it at that. We do have Callum Connolly, though. I'm tempted to start him in the second game, to be honest. And Declan Wright on a hat trick. Why would we take him off, really? Is it time to just start closing this thing down? We haven't seen too much from them, to be fair, especially this second half. Uh, Granger's on a booking now as well. So let's just drop her off a little bit and just make sure we are going to see out this win here, I think. Um, let's lower our tempo down, take that off, be more disciplined, waste some time, let's play for set pieces. And yeah, hopefully we will... Uh, Maybe make a time-wasting sub as well. Let's get the youngster on for Declan White. We can all applaud off the uh, the goal-scoring hero of the day. Probably shouldn't be attacking anymore either, should we? And have we vanquished the TNS Demons? Somewhat, yes, we have. Only a 2-1 win at home, but I think we did in the end just about deserve that. Uh, the penalty that they did score of, of course, was maybe a little bit uh, questionable, but we got there. So Bala Town win against the new state. What a boxing day that has been for us in the end. Turned it around. Sam York wants a new deal. Well, first of all, Declan Wright. Absolute fantastic stuff there, mate. New deal for Sam York. I tell you what, um, if it's going to keep him happy, £700 a week. I think we can just about uh, afford that. We're trying to get the lower squad status. Yes, we do. Um, six. Okay, let's go existing contract. I'm happy with 650 I'll give him that without too many questions. Four-year deal. Uh, team of the Year bonus for you as well. And let's see how, what he thinks of that. Um, we'll take that off after reaching international. Yeah, if you pay five games to Wales, mate, we'll pay you £850 a week. That still seems fair to me. And there we go. That is how we do a contract negotiation. Barla Town win 30 straight games. Forgot about the winning record. 30 straight league wins. Can we make it 31? Uh, safe ex oh, okay. Uh, McLean's con uh, loan contract expires at the end of the new year, so that's good. He's uh, looks like he's going to stay on beyond the new year. I think I just did it for six months to see how we were doing in Europe, so it wasn't taking playing time away from youngsters. But we'll keep him now, uh, although with Monaco, <laughs> it's probably not going to make a difference. Wait right there, guys. We'll be back for New Year's Day football against the New Saints. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Now, I was going to do a little bit of a green screen thing uh, to start this part off, but to be honest, so much has happened since last game, there's, I, I, I couldn't decide what to do. So let's just quickly start to run through things. Tony McLean has extended his loan contract to the end of the season, so that's good. Uh, we do have him now to the end of the year. If we have a quick look at players' contracts who are running out at the club, and to be honest, I'm pretty much going to let everybody go. You know, I'm really, really, this we're to the January 1st in game now. I think this January into the summer, we're going to look to have just a big, big clean out of players and just the players that we've had that have sort of got us to this point, we just, we need to clear out. So I think James Waite, uh, his contract's up, we will be letting him leave. Uh, Dan Biggs' contract is up, we will be letting him leave. I think the emergence of Callum Connolly has just meant Dan Biggs is sort of irrelevant at this point. Connor Parsons, he will be leaving at the end of his contract, as will Brandon Cooper. Decent player, but we can do we do and have got better. Uh, William Tomlinson, always 40 grand we spent on him. He's our record transfer spend, and again, he's just been a bit of a flop. He will be leaving at the end of the season. Danny Gosset, unfortunately, Danny, he will be leaving us at the end of the year as well. Uh, Radcliffe, most likely will be leaving us at the end of the year. He will be leaving us at the end of the year. We can do better than that. I'm sure we can. Jake Nichols, uh, been a good player for us at right back. He will be leaving at the end of the year. Daniel Evans is the one. He's got a little bit more potential about him, but to be honest, he's slow. He's not good in the air. I think we'll be letting him leave, but I'm, he's the one that I'm not completely convinced about. And if you have any thoughts on that, let me know. Kirk Butland came through the academy. Decent, but we've got better strikers. He will be leaving at the end of the year. Lance, uh, sorry, Lawrence Thomas. Um... Bought him in as a prospect. He's not really developed. He will be leaving at the end of the year. If we just scroll down here. Uh, Mark James, again, a good prospect when we signed him. He will be leaving at the end of the year, if not before. Derbyshire came through the academy. Never going to make it. He will be off. Chris, uh, Tristan Harold, 
for a while there, looked like he might make it with us. He's not going to. He'll be leaving at the end of the year. And Dan Gun, uh, Gami, is it? Another one of the youth uh, academy uh, products, the goalkeeper. He'll be leaving at the end of the year. So we're going to have a massive, massive clear out. That's not including players that we may be able to sell as well. Um, so that takes us uh, to that. Now, um, we have, what else have we done here? That's all scouting reports, scouting reports. York has signed a new contract, so he will be here. You saw the negotiation. He's agreed to that, so he will be here for the foreseeable future. Ryan Burke, Irish player of the season. Not young player of the season, the actual Irish player of the season. So well done to him. Look at some of the names here. Robbie Brady, John O'Shea, uh, Jonathan Walters, Robbie Keane, Keith Andrews, Richard Dunn, um, Shea Given. Damian Duff, Kevin Kilbane, Roy Keane, and of course Ryan Burke, all in the same company there. Uh, so well done to him, though. That's a big achievement. Yet to be capped by the national team, and surely now he's got to be a chance of doing that. Uh, if we go have a look at Wales or Welsh Young Player of the Year, Olmark came in third in that award. So really, really good effort from him. A shame he couldn't maybe go one or two ranks higher and win the thing, but... He's still, how old is Damien Allmark these days? He is still, he's 21, so he's getting towards the end of his chance of winning that award. Um, but still, to be third in that, really, really good effort from him. Um, so that was that. Um, what else do we have here? Tomlinson is interested in him. Hopefully that'll come in so we can get him, uh, we can actually sell him off. Uh, we have signed a new centre-back for next season. Michael Swift uh, from Liverpool on a free transfer at the end of his contract. So he'll be here sort of for next season. £1,800 a week, promising young centre-back. Um, he's an improvement on the guys that we're looking to let go. So, you know, free transfer, can't really go wrong. Decent enough physically all round. Mentally, he's fine. He's got good positioning, which I like. Uh, he's, all the defensive stats are there. He's not the worst passer of the ball either. So he'll be joining us for next season. Can play down both wings, but not, you know, he'd be a backup in those roles. Uh, there, so that's Michael Swift. Uh, we did get a bid in from West Brom for Dario Simic. You can see there, I mean, he, they were going to loan him back to the end of the year, but four grand, we want more than that for him. I'd be willing to sell him, to be honest. He's not really worked out exactly how I would have liked. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we, get, we want it to be on our terms. So we rejected, well, they didn't want to, to sort of go the extra mile to, uh, to, get, uh, to get him in. Uh, and was there anything else there? Uh, I did win Manager of the Month, but that's that's... You know, not really anything to be uh, concerned about. There's the, cons uh, yeah, we did have the offer to buy him now for 75 grand, but to be honest, he's not going to make a difference in the Monaco tie and why pay 75 grand when we can get him for free at the end of the year. Uh, so that is pretty much everything that we've happened since last game. So, so much, and there we go. But this is it now. We are going to the New Saints on New Year's Day to hopefully uh, get the win. We have a decent record against them now. We've sort of turned things around. Seven defeats, eight draws, and ten wins. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time going through all this because we literally just saw it, but we do have the analysis report from the last game. Uh, we know the formation that they played. They were a little bit further up, a little bit more adventurous than I was perhaps expecting them to be. There's their passing network. The goalkeeper uh, was a little bit more involved than we'd expected, so we'll be looking to try and stop him passing out for this game. Uh, and there's their key passes as well. And this is a team that we're sending out to face them. A few changes for this one. Radcliffe goes in goal because Miles has picked up a virus or a flu or something, so he's out for this one. So Radcliffe comes in. He's decent by Welsh standard, uh, league standards, but... Yeah, it's a big drop-off. Uh, Burke comes back in for this one to celebrate his uh, Player of the Season award for, uh, uh, with Wales. Gredison is going to come in for Reese Williams. Gosney and Branthwaite will continue in this one. York and McLean go in midfield again. We're going to give Connor Connolly a game. Not that uh, McLean did anything wrong, but he's just been setting the world on fire right now. Dixon continues. Adam Maurice comes in to play down the left, just freshening things up out there. And Olmark, who actually had a virus... Um, no, not that one um, for the last game. But he's back fit, so he comes back in to play up top on this one. We've got a strong-looking bench as well. So let's hope we don't need them, but they're there if we do. So there we go. Everybody is playing as expected. And maybe I shouldn't have dropped... Not that I dropped Middleton. I just give Adam Maurice a game, really. Uh, pick up where they left off. I mean, we weren't great. I'm going to try just to calm... We expect the, expect the win to keep our good run going. Um, just see if that, if that sort of team talk works against the New Saints as much as anything else. Um... Because we should be beating them, and we should be beating them quite comfortably. But we've never really seemed to be able to do that. So I'm wondering if it just takes a, you know, boys, go out and win. You know, like a lads at Spurs from back in the day with Ferguson. Um, yeah, but hopefully we'll, we'll see some goals in this one. Not the best start, though. <laughs> we're looking for goals. Uh, but yeah, like I say in the comments, let me know what you think of the players we're looking to release. The main guy, obviously, is Connolly. Looks like he's 
not hasn't responded too well to that team talk of mine is uh, Dan Evans. But I think you've seen the youngster that we signed in from Liverpool. Um, we have uh, KDH coming through. I just, I just, I'm not convinced that that we need Dan Evans. How much potential he has. What to do here? Defending a free kick. We cannot get to that. And again, we find ourselves behind. And again, we've got to try and respond. All right, let's take it off. Exploit the flanks. Um, and let's go, maybe go back in to try and pass it into some space there. And again, we saw him. They scored from a penalty in the first leg. Or the first game, I should say. It's not a leg affair, is it? First goal of the season for Harrington. Of course it is. Um, and they've scored again. First, in this game, well, it wasn't offside because it wasn't given, so it doesn't particularly matter. Let's give it a get creative, and let's see what we can do. I'm going to say that I don't think Connolly's much for, uh, much for the second half of this one. Again, we have not done anything in that game. Let's try a passionate, uh, let's show them better second half. Brantwaite's looking nervous. Um, well, you're not good enough, mate, so I'm not going to sugarcoat that for you. Gosney, let's give him some calm. We've got faith in you. Uh, Ryan Burke has come in and absolutely stunk up the joint at left back, but no one's playing well. Uh, let's just say we have faith in them all to try and go out there and, and be better this second half. But to be honest, it's the same old story, isn't it? Let's try to demand more. Uh, we'll give it five minutes to see if Connolly does anything. No, he doesn't. So off you go, mate. Declan Wright comes on for you. Um, Maurice is not. Yeah, we don't even ha we don't have Middleton on the bench, unfortunately. So we're kind of stuck with him there. Um, I do wonder if we need to change formation here. Actually, let's go two up top. I don't know why I bought Declan right on because that's now really going to not be a great thing for us. Uh, we push you forward. Can York go back in there? No, we cannot. Um, we take Maurice off for I think Stewart, and we'll switch those two around. Um, all right, let's just push him forward. They only have one man. What am I doing here? They only have one man up, up top, so I don't think it shouldn't matter too much. Off of, I want someone in the... Oh, this is going to piss me off, isn't it? All right, let's just see if we can do it this way. All right, there we go. We got there eventually. This is a very, very attacking formation. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we'll see the benefits from it. Uh, I did toy with the idea of playing sort of the two up top for this game in any case. Um, can we defend a free kick? Second time of asking. No, we cannot. And yeah, we are in serious trouble of not just losing our winning run here, but also our undefeated streak. And that would be a disaster. We're not, we're, this is, this is going horribly wrong, isn't it? There it is. It's 2-0 down. We can not seem to get the better of the new Saints. And to be honest, it's really, really starting to piss me off. Um, show some passion, I guess. I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, all right, what other subs do we have to make? Could we... <sighs> not doing well at left back. Um, maybe we should have left, but Maurice wasn't playing well either. Um... What can we do? What can we do? Uh, how do we change things here? All right, we've got to go. We've got to go higher line. Get stuck in. Close down the goalkeeper. We've got to. We're doing all that stuff anyway. Um, let's take it off that. Let's do that. Play for set pieces. Maybe I don't know. Maybe be more direct. See if we can get anything going in this game. All right. It's a highlight. And Bala Town start with the ball. Allmark has it. Allmark chips it to the back post. Ryan Burke is there. And it's off the crossbar. It was a little bit of a sitter, to be honest. And he's missed it. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Why are we looking nervous? Clearly, that team talk at the start of the game has not worked. But, yeah. This is looking as though it's not going to go our way, unfortunately. And it, it's been an absolutely dog of a performance, too. Absolutely smashed off the park. There goes the unbeaten season. There goes the unbeaten run. The winning record. Everything has come crashing down on New Year's Day. And to be honest, this has done nothing more than convince me we do need to clean out this squad. Bunch of overpaid fat flops we have at this team. That is absolutely disgusting. So there we go. Barla Town stunned by incisive new Saints. And that does it for a lot of our records that we have going here. Uh, let's go and have a quick look at... Where do we set these high water marks? And it's so disappointing, isn't it? Because 
oh, we've got to start from zero again. But uh, where are we here? Most wins in a row, 30 we maxed out at between the 13th of January. We almost went a year winning every game in the league. Oh, so close. That's really annoying, isn't it? 30, was it 32 games we play? Unbelievable. Uh, most games without losing, 51 is the record that we've set there. And both those records have come crashing down with that performance. Absolutely outrageous. If we have a look at squad dynamics, here's the other thing I wanted to show you uh, before the game, actually. My goal now, as I said, we're in January, is just to do a massive, massive clean out of this squad. If we can strengthen ahead of Monaco, fantastic. If we can't, then like I say, I don't think it's going to matter. We, you saw their squad. It's, we're gonna, I, I just don't think it's going to matter. Um, so what I want to try and do is, is make it so that uh, if we can... This all kind of is rebuilt, so we have our team leaders in place for the start of next season. Um, and we can kind of go from there. If we look at the league table, it, we, yes, that defeat, it really annoyed me. But we're still in a good position, let's be honest. Chances are we're still going to win this league. Uh, I want to try and make sure, I want to do our sort of business for next season now in January. So that when we come to sort of Champions League qualifying at the beginning of next season... We have a really strong team in place. This may not be able to work exactly because at the end of the season, obviously, managers change, players become transfer listed, contracts expire, things like that. But that is, that's my goal anyway. So we'll be back next episode. If you have enjoyed this, hit thumbs up. I mean, the, yeah. Sorry, guys. That was, it's, I mean, we can't win them all, can we? I mean, let's be honest. We've had a decent run, but we've had a few disappointing performances this season as well. My goals will come back at the end of the January transfer window. It won't be a transfer special per se, but I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping that we'll have done a lot of business. Uh, we will be a little bit disjointed moving forward, but that's okay, I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. Think of the plan. I think we've got to do it. I, that's just what I, th I think sort of happens. We'll be back at the end of the transfer window. Uh, I don't think we'll go as far as the Monaco tie, but uh, once the gender work transfer window is closed, after the split, we'll come back for a sort of maybe two games there and have a look at some, hopefully some new players and maybe even a transfer record. Until then, guys, I've been Ozzy Thank you so much for watching. Take care.